groceries. Zero minutes. I'm walking with God, I don't need a drink. The devil be talking, I don't entertain. I'm walking in faith, I'm so on my seat. I did it in faith, I gave it to God, and He made it great. Put me in good soil and took out the snakes. Hey everyone, good morning, and welcome back to another day in the life of a Lash Tech vlog. Um, I am running a little bit late today. Um, as you guys can see, I kind of got ready. My hair's not dry yet. I did bring my. Um, what is this, a blow dryer with me because I am gonna finish my hair at work. I decided that I just wanted to look cute today. Nothing special. We have three clients today, a nine, 11, and a one, pretty much back to back. So I'll probably be done by like 12.30, if that. Um, and I just finished uploading um, last week's vlog where there was a copyright claim on the really cute part of the video. So I'm like pretty upset, but it's okay. I just replaced it with like a Halloween song that I found on YouTube. So hopefully it goes, crossing our fingers that it does so that I can make it live because it was supposed to go up at eight o'clock and it's already 8.40. But anyways, um, uh, I gotta go, I gotta rent. So we'll see you guys for our first client. Hey guys, so I just got finished with my first client and I'm on a rush because it's 10.24 and I don't have another client at 11 but I want to hurry up and blow dry my hair. This is the um, Revlon blow dryer if anyone cares. Um, straight and quaffed um you don't ever want to use this on wet hair so that's why i like wait until it's pretty much like 80 percent to like 70 percent dry and then i'll go in and um blow dry my hair the reason being is because i do feel like these type of blow dryers do give a lot of heat but they sleek the hair instantly um, I used to use a round brush and just like a regular blow dryer and it worked great However, I just felt like I wanted something that's more like quick and go like who has time to do all that? I don't <laughs> clearly so um, They're really fun. You do need to you. Um, they're really fun. Um, I Do recommend using a heat protectant as well. So I use the Olaplex Heat protectant oil. I just like rub it on my hands and then like put it in my hair and then throughout the week, because I only wash my hair, I at least try to wash it like twice, if not once a week. Um, we'll talk about hair care in another vlog, but um, yeah, so I'll put the oil on probably later when I get home because I am going to the gym today, like around 8.30. It's very late, but me and Jada, my cousin, are getting back into the gym, so I'm so excited about that. And it is a really nice blow dryer, especially for those who want that um, blowout look without the effort. Um, this really does help but like I said it's probably not the healthiest thing for your hair I'm not even gonna lie so but I love it I love the way it makes my hair look I love the way it makes it come out um, yeah so it is 1031 I'm gonna heat up my lunch and I'll show you guys what I'm eating um, I made this pasta I get this from Stater Brothers um, if I can find the picture I'll post it um, but it's amazing because um, it's literally only like 
I think 300 to almost 400 calories for half a bag. So I'll eat one for uh, dinner and then save the rest for lunch. So I'm just gonna eat this up, scarf down my food clean because um, I hope you guys like the angle too of my new, of the angle I did bring out my handy dandy Amazon hangover tripod, but it's a little dirty. So yeah, we got stuff to do, got to clean up and then um, we'll be for our next two clients. So they're both fills. One is actually, I think one is a full set. One should be a full set anyways, but yeah, I'm going to eat my lunch and then we'll jump back on for our next client. <laughs> She bending over. Claude Hammers. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker. Miss Parker. I told you. The weeby laying you know. Evil lurk. Look at me. What she wanna be. Call me Ficky T. On the leash. I feel like a dog. I can't have the flea. Keep it pee. Never needed you. But you needed me. I got cream. Make up pretty clean. Boost your self esteem. I, I get tough. In the moment, so I feel like baby king Cause it's black, it's the boss fat is so I dress like baby D Put on coat, pussy ass and that you know it's giving cream I got hope, when it's not enough, come build a nigga team Hey guys, so I just finished and I don't know why I feel really, well I know why, but I feel a little emotional right now because um, my client that was just here, she has like this condition and I'm just seeing her, like she looked, she just looks really unhealthy, you know, and she still comes. I wanted to get her lashes done by me. Special eBay. She still wanted to come and get her lashes done. She's still coming to me. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know why it just, it's just like being a lash tech really, these are the moments that make it so rewarding because she gets to wake up and feel so confident, even though right now she's even though right now she doesn't feel her best like her lashes are gonna make her feel so good and it's like it's those small things that it's like i get to make women feel beautiful and what other like stories that have touched me even when i was like a makeup artist like i remember this this lady her skin was so overly dry and she couldn't wear makeup and feel pretty for her husband and when she came to me I was able to do that for her and she left this beautiful review and she like cried and she hugged me it's like 
these are the moments that I remind myself why I love being in this industry and it is to make women feel beautiful it's to make women feel confident and I don't know why like it just really touched me and I'm just so thankful to my clients um and sometimes they come to me with man like even one of my clients said they came to me with some some mess and it's like they still come to me to help them if it's just to talk if it's just to hear them out and it, to make them feel pretty like Regardless of anything, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna feel so confident. I mean, I know I do. I feel so confident when I have my lashes on. Like, and it's just, I'm just so thankful. I'm so blessed to my clients and, you know, the ones who've been coming. She's been coming to me. You know, this client that had me emotional. She's been coming to me since I lashed in my mom's house in my tiny ass room on a little lash bed in the corner. And I have a picture of it and I'll show you guys what that looks like. But like, it, like I, I was there for her engagement photos for her wedding and now to like for her to go through this, it's just so, it's, it's insane to me. But I'm just, um, you know, you know who you are if you ever watch this and um, you know, you, you hold a special place in my heart. I'm just so thankful that you choose me to be your lash artist. And I just hope that to all my clients that I deliver what you need out of me you know and i know sometimes that <sighs> sometimes i'm not even in i'm not having a good day or i'm not feeling my 100 to give to them you know and it's it's just i don't know it just made me shift my perspective and it's just like i just hope that i give you what i need to give you out of these lash appointments even when there's times where i'm quiet like I don't mean to be or if I don't ask you just how you're doing and it just makes me want to ask now like I just I don't know just thankful to God and I pray for anyone out there who's going through something right now who feels like your lashing career you know isn't going to make a huge impact it really really does like even just when my girl does my lashes the feeling that I get is just it's the best so <sighs> anyways Positivity, positive vibes. Um, that was amazing. It is now 2.17. Yeah, um, I already cleaned up the studio. Everything's good, ready to go. Um, right now, it's still kind of early. I'm kind of thinking that um, I want to go to the store and get some stuff for dinner. I just really don't know what I make. So I think I'm going to go on Pinterest a little bit. I need to write stuff down. I need to do my little um, grocery list. Zero minutes. Hey guys, so I decided to come to Sprouts to find um, some really good grocery goodies. Um, I don't really have a full-on plan on what I want. I was watching a little bit of TikTok right now, like um, super high protein meals. So my goal is to keep muscle but lose body fat. In order to do that, you need to eat in a caloric deficit and eat your protein intake. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I started last week, which I'm on a streak, so I'm being consistent, which is good because all I need is like literally two weeks. It, as long as I'm consistent this whole next week, I'll be back into it. Like that's just how I how I operate. Um, so I already know I have almond milk, I have egg whites, I have cucumbers, I bought ginger. I have spinach I just want other little things to make I do want to get some meat so I do want to get like um, some chicken and I know here at Sprouts they have a lot of of like um, meal prep things like in a way like already pre-cooked not pre-cooked but pre-packaged prepped meals if that makes any sense and um, anyways so we're gonna go inside right now I have Mia with me so um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we find at Sprouts. Every time I see people vlog that they're at a Sprouts or a Trader Joe's, they seem to find really good stuff. So crossing our fingers that we find some good groceries because um, your girl's trying to get skinny. Okay, so um, see you guys when we get inside.
your intuition has been telling you things that you never knew. Rubbish photos with bitches I used to put on pedestals. The sky keep it professional. Laying in the bed and you acting like I can't even touch you. I don't know why you do that. Shower with the door open why you do that. Drop the towel right in front of me. You cruise. Oh no, baby. Talk to me, baby. Say it to me straight. Did I make a mistake? And I can't concentrate while you're standing there naked. Hey, we are back from our shopping. Um, so I'm super excited because um, I went to Sprouts. So in total, with all my groceries, I spent like $170. On what? I don't fucking know. I remember $170 used to get you so much stuff. It's insane. Anyways, so um, I achieved what I wanted at Sprouts. I wanted to get my meat there. Just because I'm really particular with my knee. I don't know. I'm weird. But anyways, I want to hurry up and put this in the air fryer. Because this is what um, we're going to have for dinner tonight. I got a lot of lazy girl. A lot of lazy fit girl meals. Because I am determined to lose this weight. And I have no excuse because everything's prepped for me. So I ended up getting these shush kebabs. That I'm going to pop in the air fryer right now. And I think they're going to fit. So they're just um, citrus lemon marinated shish kebabs. It came with two of them. So that way if I needed to, I can have one tomorrow for lunch or whatever. Um, I got Angus beef to make steak tacos one night. I got this um, already sauteed carne, carne picada. Carne picada? Carne, I don't know. This sauteed carne taco meat. Uh, because I love tacos. I can eat tacos and I have those 25 calorie tortillas. Um, I got some sweet peppers to go with eggs, some regular peppers because I plan on doing some like um, stuffed bell peppers, tomatoes, onion. Um, I showed you guys, I believe in sprouts, but um, one of my subscribers actually um, told me that I should get this off of Amazon and it tastes just like Starbucks matcha. So we're gonna try that. Um, I got these little granola bites just to have in my purse. Um, and then, yeah, that's everything that I got since Sprouts. Can you believe that that was all $75? I went in there, I was like, um, <laughs> I'm leaving. This, no, anyways, um, that's what I got from Sprouts. I also got these minute um, rices. Again, no excuse. And then what we're gonna eat um, today with the shish kebabs is, I'm probably just gonna eat one, if not two, with some yellow rice. I also got a brown rice and a white rice. Again, no excuses. Gluten-free mac and cheese, because I've been craving that and I don't deprive myself from cravings. Panko crumbs, because I want to make um, Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Some queso dips, because I want to make um, protein nachos. And what I mean by protein nachos is using 94% ground beef, lean, and then these are my favorite snacks right now, my favorite chips at the moment. So I was thinking of putting these down, some ground beef seasoned on top with some of this queso protein nachos. That sounds delicious. Um, I got tunas because I loved to make um, lemon, salt and pepper on a rice cake, 96% ground beef for one of those nights. I also got some taco seasoning. I don't know, just in case. I did get one of my, this is my current favorite bottle of wine right now because tomorrow I want to make protein shrimp alfredo. That is like my favorite dinner to cook and I'm really, really good at it. So I wanted, I wanted some wine with that. I got rice cakes. I got two options. I got chocolate and regular. I got these to eat with my tuna and then I got chocolate for when I have a sweet tooth. Um, I got pounds of bacon. I got two pounds worth of bacon because I love bacon and I'm over turkey bacon. I can't do it anymore. Shrimp, as always. And then I got these little charcuterie snacks. You guys have seen these before. These are my favorite. And yeah, so all of that was $170. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and heat up our chicken and our rice. I'm gonna put this in the air fryer for about 400 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until like it's my desired look, I guess. And then I just heat this up for like a minute and a half. 
I'm gonna put it on a plate and then we're gonna eat it. So we'll go ahead and give a taste test and we'll see how good it tastes. But um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for now. And then put my groceries away, eat and then relax because I go to the gym tonight at eight o'clock, 8.30. It is currently 4.11, so I have four hours and then um, yeah, so. I'm going to try to take you guys to the gym with me. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try. So, wow. Honestly, I cannot really smell right now. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. But are you kidding me? It smells so good. Okay, then here's the one minute rice. Bam. Moment of truth. Why is this so close? That's why it looks dumb. Okay. Well, this is what my plate's looking like. I look like I, I made it. Oh, that grease, that grease though is, mm -mm. so I guess I'll just try. Oh, I gotta try the chicken. Oh my God, this is so good. <gasps> mm. Mm -mm. Twenty out of ten. Are you kidding me? Mm hmm. The perfect combo. And that literally took me sixteen minutes to make. good morning so I decided that I am gonna do like a little voiceover of you know just what my day is looking like in the beginning I always make my bed okay gorgeous gorgeous girls always make their bed before they go anywhere I don't know it just really sets my day I feel like if my bed's made one I'm not tempted to sit in it and I just feel like my room it just has so much of a cleaner vibe and I'm ready to get my day started I always take me out to pee in the morning just like a little walk right here around the block I have a really small block so you know she got to go pee in the morning got to take out our stuff because we are gonna make a green juice today so all I do is chop up all my vegetables so I like to put cucumber in it ginger apple lemon juice spinach and kale um, I want to start incorporating celery and sometimes I do put um, oranges and pineapples in it as well so that's pretty much how I make it so I'm just gonna like chop up all of my vegetables like I said I really get that ginger really down to like a really good little grain too much ginger will make it taste really nasty um, I'm cheating by using this lemon juice because um, I'm lazy <laughs> um, but yeah you're just gonna stick that all in your blender I do use sweet and low okay I do I can't do it without it I cannot I'm not I'm not built that way if you are that's great but I'm not I do put at least one cup to two cups of water inside my green juice we blend it all up in that ninja blender okay I love my ninja and then you're just gonna go ahead and strain out the juice and then use a strainer um, I know people kind of use a cheesecloth or there's actually like juicers um, this is the cheap way so if you just have a blender and you want to juice without all the pulp cuz I hate pulp I don't like making green smoothies it's disgusting to me I'm sorry I love juices this way so I just use a strainer and a spoon I just mix it around to like everything kind of just like drops on the floor and into this bowl um, whatever leftover pulp I have because I usually end up having a lot 
I'll just go ahead and add some water, blend it again, and then strain it again. So I know I use the Splenda, so it kind of does like lower down the sweetness sometimes. So if you feel like you want it more sweet, just add a little bit more Splenda, sweet and low, anything zero calorie, zero sugar, okay? Pour it up into a glass that you can put it in the refrigerator to save it for later. In any cup of your choice, pour some ice in it and pour it, pour it up. I love this green juice. I really do feel like it's helped with bloating and yeah. So what we're also gonna do is go ahead and jump in and just start editing. I am gonna explain to you guys how I do get some of my music from my B-roll footage, but yeah, that's pretty much my mornings now on Mondays and Tuesdays. So let's just jump into how you actually put music into your videos. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys like the benefits of the green juice. So it's really, really helping me. Um, I genuinely feel like it's helping me with like my gut health. Um, I've noticed a significant difference in my bloating and how my stomach looks like when I wake up and when I eat my food. So I'm gonna keep doing that because it's obviously working. Um, it's helping me go to the bathroom, like it's helping me shit better. <laughs> so I really, really like it. So yeah, as you guys saw, like I was like editing my vlog up a little bit and um, you know, just seeing how the clips I want. So I always edit to the clips that I like before I even add music. So I used to do that. I would like add the music and then go with the beat of the song. And then I would get really frustrated if it would like get a copyright flag. And then I had to start like all over or put a new song and that song doesn't go with like the beat of the old, the other song that I was using. So yeah, so first thing I do, you have to edit, edit the portion that you want. So I love doing B-roll footage. Like that's something that I love doing in my blogs and B-roll footage is basically just footage where you're clipping it to be with music and there's no sound in the background, like no original sound. It's just the sound from whatever you choose and then how you edit it. So I already kind of like edited it a little bit, not too much, just de definitely condensed it down to the clips that I want. And right now it's only about like um two minutes so i'm probably gonna condense it down even further if that but um so i'm gonna show you guys like what i use and how i add my music da, da, da. so let me go ahead and prop you guys down show you guys my computer so that i can show you what we use okay so i have my computer open now and the software that i use is final cut pro it is not free um i used imovie for a very long time in the beginning of my career so there's nothing wrong with that um, but I did switch to Final Cut Pro once I got monetized um, and I invested in it. So it's like 300 bucks, but it's definitely worth the investment because the precision editing processing is really, really good. So anyway, so this is the clips that I have. So here's just like a little snippet. So um, I just got a really weird angle <laughs> of me in Sprout. So then it's going to clip over to the next part. It's going to skip over. So I just want to kind of make it seem like you guys are kind of coming with me to Sprouts, like you're kind of there with me. I really, really liked this footage. I definitely think next time I vlog in the grocery store, this is the angle that I'm going to be using because you get more of a real life experience of like walking with me in Sprouts. So I really, really liked that. Um, I'm definitely going to like trim out a clip because I thought it was like, okay, so here I'm getting like an onion and I'm going to see if I even like that. I do have this clip sped up, so I'm trying to see if I even gonna keep that in here. So I'll like literally just watch it. Do I like it? No, I don't even know what I'm doing. I think I'm looking around for something else because I'm noticing like how expensive fucking Sprouts is. But anyways, so I really like just like the little short clip of me just like walking around in Sprouts. So I'm actually not even gonna put that in my vlog. I want it to be like the motion, so. Here's another of like, you know, going around and like we're going in lines. Um, so I'm probably going to clip it about there and then skip to when I get into the wine section because I saw Snoop Dogg wine and I thought that was so cool. So like if I play it, you guys are going to peep the Snoop Dogg. Look at it. Snoop Dogg has his own wine. I didn't know that. So I thought that was really cool. So I was like, I'm putting that in the vlog because I want to put like a little text like, oh, peep Snoop Dogg's new um, hey. wine. Okay, so then it cuts to me coming back because I'm showing you guys like my grocery haul, right? All right. So anyways, that's how I liked it. It's literally, so if I zoom in, it's literally only this much. So it's 15, 16. It's about 
a minute and like 45 minutes long which is fine because a generic song is about like two minutes right two minutes to like three minutes so anyway so that's my clip that i have so now i'm gonna go to soundcloud and this is the this is what i use so i use soundcloud for my music um this is where i find all my music at and yeah so basically what i do is i go in and i do hours and hours of searching for music guys so when i'm editing throughout the week I will like in between editing or when I'm waiting for some footage to be uploaded, I will go and just search me for music, okay? So, um, one thing you need to know though is that some tracks on here are, they're gonna make you pay for it and if you don't and you download it and you put it in your song and you upload it to YouTube, it's gonna flag it as monetization or you might have to share the money with the artist. So I don't like to do that. So I go in and I search for music that is free downloadable music, okay? Um, the way to like really get music in here is to find the loopholes in it. So what I mean is like, usually when you see like these weird little anime characters, um, this one's in a, I'll show you guys right now, but usually when I see these weird little characters, tends to odds are they have really good music so I like reworked or remixed music um in my background and like R&B like I like it to be very like a vibe so for example Hot Minute that's definitely a song that I have used before in my um in one of my vlogs um but one thing you guys need to like keep in mind looking for music is that maybe only certain portion of that song is non-copyrighted and i know that sounds very confusing and it's a lot but you'll literally learn as you go and you just it's honestly through trial and error so sometimes i'll even take a song download it and just upload that song and put that video on private and let it upload and leave it there for a day and see if it's um, monetizable and if it is cool i'll use it in the future <clears throat> another cool way to figure out if the song is um monetizable or not is it will literally tell you like free download so for example sans um that is a really really good one they have a lot like he has a lot of good music that i've used for example like rock the boat so okay I love that one. That one was one of my favorites. So what I'll usually do is I'll go in and I'll look for a song. And like I said, so this is how you know if the song is non-copyrighted. If it says Spotify, if it says Bandcap, if it says download, sometimes even if it says free download right here, let me zoom you guys in so you guys can like see exactly what I'm talking about. So for example, do you see how this one says Spotify right here? This one says Bandcamp and this one has nothing. So that means that this one, most likely you're able to use. However, I actually never use the full length of a song. Um, for me personally, I keep my B-roll footage at, at least two minutes or less. Um, or I'll, if I can use the whole song, I will, but odds are sometimes I don't because like I said, my B-roll footage is possibly only like a minute and a half to two minutes and 15 seconds long. So. Um, that's how you know if you can use a song. So same thing with like Rock Your Body. Okay, and you see what I mean? Like he does create, oops, he, so he does create really good like vibed out music. I love songs. However, majority of his music that like you'll go in and you'll find a song and you're not paying attention to this and you're like, oh my God, I love it. And it's non -cop it's copyrighted. So just be careful when you're doing that. So he's the name, the number one person I'll give you guys, which is Sans. Okay, that's his profile. Um, he has blue check, so you do have to be careful because even right here it says support Sans. So like um, majority of his music is um, you have to pay for it. So just be careful with that. So again, I like the song, right? So for example, I liked these two. So I'm gonna add them to a playlist. So I already have like playlists in here, like new music, vibes, holiday music, you know, cause Halloween's coming up. B-roll footage, I love B-roll footage. So I obviously put it here, YouTube. So for right now, I have a lot of old music that I've used in my B-roll footage. And I like to keep old music that I've used just in case I need to use it again, because sometimes I won't find a song. Like I'm telling you guys, sometimes it takes me like two hours. So just be careful with that. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna add it to my new playlist even though I already have it in YouTube but just for example just to show you guys um I I really liked um Rock Your Body too I actually don't think I have this one 
I don't. So I'm gonna add it to my playlist so I can go back and look. I'm gonna check this one out because it doesn't have anything. And I'll literally go through it really fast. Okay, so it's like very, this is giving me like tropical vibes. You never know when you're gonna go on a vacation, sis, so guess what, oops, nope. Um, how do I, no, I wanna add it to the playlist. Okay, so that one's obviously, it's an hour, it's an hour and 58 minutes long. Odds are you can download that. So we're just gonna ignore that one. Um, let's see, like been that way. And I'll just go in. Okay, so for example, that song right there, I have tried using it and I got flagged and there's nothing on here, right? I know. So like, <clears throat> that's the game that you have to play when it comes to this. However, I will literally, I don't mind doing that if that means I get to have bomb music on my YouTube videos. So you definitely just have to go through this. So I say it takes hours and hours and like, why I'm probably not gonna give you guys even more people just because like it takes me a long time to just find one good artist and I only get like two songs out of like 50 so um another thing is like I said if you find a good artist there's like this loophole so fans also like so over here it says um let me go down sorry <laughs> like right here it says fans also like like nuisance f eclipse you know and they have a blue check mark so just be careful with those blue check marks odd are the ones who don't have blue check marks usually have like um tracks that are you could use that are super like you don't even have to think about it like they're gonna they're gonna be non-copyrighted so <laughs> Okay, I like that. I haven't even heard that before. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my new playlist because it's something that I wanna download. And I really, really like that one. And I think I wanna use that for my B-roll footage. So um, this person's video or his thing is F, so full body derage um, under your mom's bed. <laughs> nice. So um, next pro. So he's coming up. He's up and rising. So that's another thing. Like, <laughs> it's so fucking frustrating, guys. I'm sorry. It is. That's just the life of being like a YouTuber. Like, if he does become a pro and let's just say in the future, he ends up wanting to monetize this song, you will get flagged down the road. So do just keep that in mind, like when you are getting music. Um, but it's a risk I'm willing to take because I... I love music but so far like even Aaliyah has had music that I've used before that I found and it's been riding along ever since then it's very rare when that does happen um but because sometimes followers are doing really or sometimes the artists are doing so good but then they fall off so it's like they just leave it on here so anyways um so for example I really like this one I think Mm. okay okay i love bryson taylor so we're gonna use that one so i'm just gonna click the song um and this is the fun part so i'm gonna go in and i'm going to um let me zoom you guys out so i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna highlight that um i'm gonna copy the url i'm gonna go to add because i already have it saved so the website that i use is soundcloud to mp3.co so be careful when you're doing this because for example i'm gonna paste it and it's gonna redirect me. Make sure you close that out super fast. You don't wanna get any bugs. If you don't have a Mac, don't do this. You will get a virus on your computer and it's not fucking fun. So Apple has a built-in um, virus protection software that's like really, really good. So as long as you close out the, the thing, um, your, the, the tab, then you're fine. Um, again here, so just hurry up and like unclick it. And then it downloads to your computer. Boom. So it goes directly into my Apple library. It takes a while for it to actually show on Final Cut Pro. So what I'll do is like I'll actually just drag the song and put it here. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and see like how and I'm going to line it up. What I like to do too is put like a little custom little graph in front just because that gives like a it gives my viewers an indication that this is where the b-roll footage is stopping and starting. I don't know, it's just something I like to do. 
personally. So, and then I'm just gonna pop it. Um, I do, since it's B-roll footage, I lower down the volume to like six, just, just cause I do that. So then let's go ahead and watch. Okay, straight off the bat, this is too long. Like, first of all, it's not even moving yet, so I'm gonna clip it down to where it's moving. And I'm actually gonna lower this clip down because it's just too long, so let's see. Boom, and it clips into me, hey, you know, so I'm definitely gonna edit that out. Um, but yeah, you guys get the, the gist. So this is pretty much how um, I go ahead and add music. And then like I said, um, usually right here, I'll kind of just stop and like, I'll literally do this. So I'll like copy this portion. I'll go to copy and then I'll go here. I'll go to file and then I'll go to new and then project. Um, we'll just untitle it, doesn't even matter. And then I'll paste it here. And then I will go ahead and upload this and then upload it to YouTube and see if it's monetizable. So that's another way that you can do it just to see if that clip is okay. Is that section of that song good? So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I do that. I hope you guys like enjoy that little segment. Um, so I'm just going to continue to edit right now and drink my juice. Mm. And then we're going to head to the gym and then I got to come back. I need to fold laundry that's on the floor that's clean. I need to do laundry. I need to clean up my room. I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment today, but they called me and they canceled. The reason why I'm not working today, which is stupid. It's just like a checkup for like my next plan, make sure everything looks good and everything. Um, and they canceled on me and they rescheduled it for Monday, which is, I mean, not Monday, um, Tuesday, um, which is fine because I'm off on Mondays and Tuesdays now because I'm really trying to keep up with YouTube. Like I've been doing really good. I bet your girl has been consistent. So hopefully I can keep that up. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna edit for a little while um, and make sure that like, yesterday's portion of the video is gonna be done. So that way I could just edit today's portion on Monday. So yeah, we'll see you guys later when we head to the gym. Hey everyone, it's way, way much days later. It is Memorial, um, it is Memorial weekend and I am at my grandma's house. It is Sunday, September 3rd. It's currently 2.37. Um, I have just been chilling. Um, I believe, I don't know if I did take you guys or show any vlog footage of me and my boyfriend's little like date night outing the other night because we had a ball <laughs> it was so much fun so i don't know how much of that um i just got ready i'm in my pajamas still these are the ones that i these are the ones that i have gotten from target that you guys um i think i showed you guys before i'm waiting for my clothes to dry so that i can get ready because we are going to go to the boiling crab because i can't come out here and not get boiling crab um like around like four o'clock so i got ready early because i just wanted to come on here and vlog a little bit because right now i am currently when i was 21 and i moved out here to almani this was my room so like like my little mirrors and everything like so this is like the full room but um it's just crazy being in here because i started my makeup career in here and how I built my following and how I established like a platform for myself was being out here. 
and it's just crazy like being in this room and like just thinking about my 21 year old self like hustling at sephora and working and like going out and just really trying to like figure it out and like being here now at 28 years old like i get to come and visit whenever i want and just everything that i've established for myself my career and like i was even editing right now and stuff and it was just so crazy like wow like you know i wish i could go back and tell my 21 year old self here like you know, I had my moments, like there was just a lot of craziness why I ended up here at the time that I did. And I just really wish I could go back and just hug my older, my younger. I wish I could just like go back and just hug my younger self and just tell her like, you're going to do it. Like, don't worry. Like right now you're struggling right now. You know, you're sad, but it's all going to be worth it. Trust. You're going to have everything you've ever wanted. So it's just like, dang, it's just so crazy. Like, wow, like it's just a trip, but Things are looking really good as far as like vlogging goes and stuff because I told you guys that I am going to be consistent. So I am taking Mondays and Tuesdays off now, which is great because now I'm going to have more time to dedicate to YouTube and to keep up with my vlogs. Um, so I'm lashing part time and now doing YouTube part time equally so that I could like balance everything out because girl, I was experienced burnout like crazy. It was it was really bad, but um, um i think i'm gonna stop my vlog here but i just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you guys so much for your support your amazing comments like your guys's comments on my youtube channel is just astonishing like again i just every i feel like every single vlog i'm just i can't thank you guys enough so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe on your way out and let me know what other things you guys want me to see in my vlogs are you liking them should i do more stuff do more activities um yeah like do you want to see more lashing like whatever it is like please let me know and i'll see you guys in my next vlog so <laughs>